it's coronavirus lockdown. It's time to do all those little jobs around the place that you just haven't had time to do. My job today is changing my wheel bearings on my Erty 122 French made trailer. Looking online, I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for. On this one, I've got a bit of a problem that I can't get my hubs off. So I'll show you how to do that. That's about the only difference between this video and the other ones you'll see. So number one, let's just, just take the uh, wheel nuts off. Leave the trailer on the ground just while you get them loosened a little bit. Otherwise, if you jacked it up in the air, it would just spin. Right, to jack it up now, I'm actually just going to lift it up and put a block underneath the bottom. Since it weighs nothing, I don't actually need a jack. Let's just take the nuts off. Put them in a container because they will always roll away. I'm going to try and give you quite generic advice here about I won't tell you what size sockets I'm using and things like that because it might just be slightly different in whatever country you're in. Now we need to take the cap off. The bearing is actually inside that. This is on here just to seal it to stop water and dust and other rubbish going inside. The chance of you pulling that off is slim. So get a little rubber mallet. Uh, in my case, I've got a hammer. Just loosen it enough. Don't smack the daylights out of it because you still need to be able to recycle that. Now we can find the axle nut in there. Once again, loosen that off with your socket. That will have a little washer on the back of it, so just be careful when you're taking it off that the washer doesn't roll down your driveway. So we put that into one side as well. We can see the washer in there. It's just stuck in there with a bit of grease. We'll clean that up and reuse it later. Now I want to remove this whole hub from the axle, it needs to come off. Now I tried this with the other side and it was completely jammed on. So the theory is to grab a little mallet and just tap it over and over and over again. That it just wasn't coming out and you can't get quite a very good horizontal hit at it. So if that is your problem, you're now going to have to get a puller. Wheel puller, tire puller, bearing puller, bearing pulley, whatever you call it in your country. Um, brilliant little piece of uh, engineering design. Let me just set it up. So effectively, it's a tripod system. We're going to put it on the hub, put a central spike against the axle, and pull it out really evenly without actually much effort. Um, it saves damaging it as if you'd been beating the daylights out of it with a hammer. It's a little bit fiddly, but we'll get there eventually. Just takes a bit of time to set up. You've got the tripod going in three different directions. I'm not sure if you can see that now. You've just got the central uh, winch of the tripod right onto the axle itself. Assuming it's slightly off center, assuming it stays there. Let's see how that goes. And this, when I crank on this it will pull the whole hub off evenly uh, and should just pop off can you 
see it coming out. The orange thing in there is actually the bearing. It's a sealed bearing. As I start pulling this out, you can see the entire hub coming off now. And it's actually coming off quite easy. Previously I was beating the heck out of it with the hammer and it just didn't come off. So there we have it now. We actually have a smaller outer bearing that is on the outside of the trailer and if we turn it over we've got a larger inner bearing. They're both sealed, you won't actually be able to see the ball bearings inside it. There's a metal um, cover on each side of each of the bearings. So what we now need to do is take those bearings out, get a new set of bearings, put another set on the outer, another set on the under, put it back in, tighten it up. It's about as simple as that. Because I'm no mechanic, I don't exactly have a lot of engineering tools, so we're going to get a bit agricultural about getting these out. You see some online videos about people getting in there and prizing them out with screwdrivers and what have you, but that really doesn't lift it off, doesn't pop it off, it sort of bends it out and it's really risky, you risk breaking the actual hub itself. Um, so what I went downstairs and had a look for before was just trying to find something what I've got lying around that I can use to beat the dilats out of it. So what I've got is just a small bolt that's going to fit into one side and out the other and I'm just going to hit it down and pop them out hopefully. Each bearing has got a slightly bigger diameter in the middle, so on this occasion I'm going to start with the outer bearing on the bottom. I'm just going to pop in my little coach bolt there, give it a few taps, and hopefully it just pops out. Something I prepared earlier was my pliers to make sure I don't hit my hand. Sounds like it's moving. Let's just give it a double check. Now you can see that the bearing is coming out. So a couple more taps, it should be out. Here we go. So that is the sealed bearing. Same on both sides. It's got very fine markings. You probably can't zoom into that. That just tells us um, which company made it, what sizes they are. Now we need to turn it over and do the same to the other bearing to get that one out. On this occasion, once again, I'm just going to get something. It's actually just a bigger coach screw for the other side. Give it a bit of a grip, punch it out. I can feel it going up. Oh, it's gone. Okay. So that just come. So by doing it that way, it's slightly more agricultural, but the thing just pops out nice and even. If you try and hit it with a screwdriver there, then there, then there, then there, you really run the risk of damaging the hub. So there we have it. That's how we get the uh, that's how we get the bearings out. Now I'm still waiting for the new ones to arrive by courier, um, but effectively it's just a reverse way of putting them back in. Pop your outer one in, pop your inner one back in, slot it back up. We'll give the whole thing a clean first. Put your washer on, your nut on, screw it on, pop your dust cap on, and just tap that a couple of times to put it on, put your wheel on, you're good to go. So I hope that helps you uh, get your wheel bearing changed in your downtime as well. Have a good one.